The second method for exporting your board file, again, I need to make sure that I put my dimension as a polygon on the Eco2 user layer. And I've got all my traces and pads and everything on my front copper. This time I'm going to say File, Plot. I'm going to select the front copper and the Eco2. Uh, oh, make sure you select SVG format. Uh, drill marks say actual size, pin width 0.1 millimeters, and we're going to go ahead and do negative plot. This automatically inverts my colors, so my traces and the interior will be white on black. And exclude PCB edge layers from other layers. In case you do have something on the edge cuts layer, by default that prints on every single layer. I don't know why. So you just got to exclude that. Here, I'm putting this in another folder called Plots. And if I go to Plots, uh, actually, let me regenerate those. There we go. So I've got two SVG files. So now I need to convert them into PNGs. The way to do that is to open them in Inkscape. And you can see they have inverted, so my colors are correct. And what I want to do is go to File, Export PNG Image. And here, uh, I'm going to make it 1,000 DPI. And just kind of keep note of what these numbers are. They don't have to be perfect, but you want them to be as close as you can to the dimension file. So here, again, if I say to export as a PNG, I've already got that loaded. Um, you want these numbers here, the width and the height, to be the same. All these numbers need to be the same. So you can see I'm changing between my files. All those numbers are indeed the same. So here I want again 1000 DPI, click export. And I should see both of those PNGs here once I'm done. I'm going to export my traces, and there they are. So now I'm going to go into Mods, right-click, Programs, Server Programs. Let's say I have a SRM20 mil. Uh, I'm going to say PCB PNG. Select the trace files. That's your FCU, Front Copper. And you have to put in the dimensions, and for some reason it's not, oh, I know why, because that is not the right file. I'm in the wrong folder, so go to the plots folder, and you should be able to see your PNG. There we go. Um, I have a thousand DPI. I'm going to select mill traces and calculate, and it will go ahead and show me the design again. I need to go back and tweak my design. I have some uh, bridges that don't need to be there. Once you've done that, you can see what the output of this looks like. Um, again, you don't need to invert it. It's already inverted. Say mill outline, calculate. And there you go, your three steps in the Z axis.